Yo, what is wrong, boys? Asian Sensation back with another banger. Today's episode, we got some Dreadling Cave. We're going to be using a bunch of different strategies. Let's get it. All right, we're going to start off with Energy Farm Heli. I just want to get some energy practice in real quick. You already know. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel or just haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button for us as well. It gets us closer to 100,000 subs. And truly appreciate all the support. Um, Where do I even start with an NG? Um, Anti-Sol versus Anti-Sol. We're going to try something wonky. I'm gonna go like down here. I don't know. We'll see how it works for us. Good luck. Have fun. I'm just gonna go straight for my farm here. I don't know if it's better to like eco hard right away or not. That's what he's doing. But we are gonna be trying a different strategies, like I mentioned, simply because I am in a tournament, uh, pro tournament right now where um you can't use the same you can't win with the same loadout twice in a row. So it's basically like an anti one trick um tournament. So it's super fun. So I want to get just kind of good practice with all the towers here just to make sure we are all up and running but yeah should be really exciting got more tournament com content coming if you guys haven't checked out the past two videos highly recommend it i think they're pretty solid um series so that is a tournament that's going on right now so stay tuned for future content on that all right so now we just save up for our plantation i don't think it's worth rushing into a f engineering over there yeah see like we're no logs lost and we're absolutely vibing also, boys, if you didn't know, I will be doing some G Fuel giveaways next time I stream, probably. So I'm actually uh, a brand ambassador for them so I can promote some of their product. And you guys can get discounts using code SENSATION1. That is the numerical symbol one. And yeah, man, pretty cool. So that's in the description of every video if you're interested. And you get 20% off if you use my code. And like, stuff's quality. It's good stuff. Uh, I use it a lot, actually. I'm not just saying that. All right, so is he gonna be fine? He got, he went and had a bot, nine inch nails it looks like. I think I'm gonna keep sending it. He's probably gonna send me a massive green rush, I would imagine. Yeah, he's starting to struggle. Bloom boosting's not a terrible play here, but I'd rather save the bloom boost, I think. So we don't know what loadout we're up against. I'm not really scared of any loadout. Um, like Ninja Farm NG is a little scary just because there is the stall component of that. But my strategy can still defend extremely late if played well, so I'm not too worried. We just can't let him get like infinite money, I feel like, and then we're fine. But he's leaking a ton. Deepers, man. Probably gonna rush me with a bunch of yellows right here. Yeah, so we're just gonna go for their, a niner. Oh, I got baited right there. Um, Let's go ahead and send him a decent size rush, though. He goes for Sprockinator, that's fine. I'll probably sell this for a farm. Is that too greedy? Probably too greedy, but we're going to go for it anyways. Probably get punished here, but... you going to send me a bunch of yellows? No massive yellow rush. Wow, he didn't even notice the greed then. Well, we got a nice out farm. Very, very nice for us. So let's go ahead and start getting up the cleansing foam. We're going to send him some leads here. Put you on close. Get our cleansing foam. Settled onto the map you're sending your regions against a cleansing foam that's just the dumbest thing you ever can do because the cleansing foam d d regions so it doesn't really do anything if my cleansing foam doesn't hit it lead is still lead not gonna be doing any regioning so a bit odd to see that play all right we just go for sprockets here like that that one was a little bit more warranted but we're fine we got lives to leak right now so we have a massive farm lead from that play let's just go for this now be free money yeah this guy doesn't know how to rush energy not sure what that is he's happy for some reason though he goes for a farm i'm rushing he's going trap now i think yeah he's trapping up so i can afford a bank right here but it's too greedy we'll wait till round 14. if i see any balloon on my screen i think i should just plop down a heli Is he rushing can't tell it's really easy to blend with ai on this round okay but we'll bank this round for sure i think that's the play We'll be able to leave a plantation up as well, so that's pretty exciting. Go ahead and move you up here. And yeah, we'll go for Mr. Bank Mankey. If he rushes, we can sell this for a rotors, hopefully. If he sends cam or like leads or something, that is, that overwhelms. I'm just getting ready for any kind of rush. I'm not sending anything. Do I want to be aggressive here? No, I think I just prior. Okay, he's gonna go for the rush. I don't want to prioritize. Okay, that just does nothing, huh? Yeah, we're just fine against that. I kind of want to prioritize just getting up a BIA since we're out farming so hard. 
let's just lock you in place over here and yeah we'll cash out and go for a we'll cash out and do that round 16 bia he can't really punish it i mean he sends a massive rush i can afford rotors right now and then just boost that should defend so very happy very happy with where we're at kind of a passive ng game i didn't realize we're both using heli until now either so that's kind of cool all right so we are gonna have to worry about mods we're gonna have to worry about bfbs we'll start to kind of be on alert for those rushes he's definitely gonna send a moa we have all our boost which is really good if he balloon boosts we're gonna need two helis if he just sends one i think we can get away with just a single one he's gonna send it three two one moab no moab okay maybe he's saving up for a bia of his own i don't know Do I ever just double BIA here? <laughs> I might. Our farms are so good. Not rushing at all. Passive McGee over here. We could try a little rush right here. But I'd rather just save money to defend against... Actually, I'm going to go double trap. Is that even on the map? Oh, there it is. That way you can't layer any rushes behind like BFB send or something. For our BFB defend, we'll probably just go for double downdraft. I'm hoping that works. I don't know. I haven't really played this strat much. We'll we'll be able to adjust accordingly, but I'm not too worried about what defends him. Yeah, so he's gonna go for it. Let's go like this. Double D draft. I think that should solo. And he, like I said, the double trap prevents him from being able to do any like crazy layering behind it. He might still try to do like camo leads behind it. If that's the case, then we'll just have to go for rotors, which I think is what we're going to do. Yeah, this should just be fine here. That defends, right? If I have to boost, it's fine, but I don't think we need to. Boost. I was dead if I didn't boost that. We're fine now, though. Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll send him a ZOMG, maybe? I mean, I'm going to have money to do so. Mm, he just leaves. Okay, sweet. Well, that was free win. Wonder. I feel like that would have defended without boost, but the those two modes are getting a little farther than I kind of liked. All right. Well, we said we're gonna mix up loadouts, so let's bring. Let's try Ninja Farm Mortar just for funsies, boys. I kind of want to try it. It's, it's a good map to try it on. Good luck guy doesn't seem too good so i'm not too worried but he might be undercover sweat you never know with some of these people i expect anti-stall something I had to guess maybe not though okay what even is meta on this map is it heli farm ice is it whiz farm super i don't know who knows man that's the nice thing about dread though is there's so many different loadouts you can go do you ever start with a mortar here that's another question I have. I don't think so. We're going to try a really heavy mix eco with this loadout. I just want to try it. We'll see how it goes. Good luck. Have fun. Um, Guess I'm going to place you like back here. Because we kind of want it for cleanup. You went dartling. Okay. So we lose to most dartling loadouts. So we're going to want to play pretty aggressive here. To kind of bridge the gap. Like if we're extra aggressive, it's going to make dartling... Have a difficult time defending late game dude what is everyone dc'ing bro all right he's back everybody's playing in the freaking walmart gaming section like what is going on uh yeah thumbs down buddy all right so he's got powerful darts nicely done the problem is i'm not really anti-stalling but i will be being aggressive kind of hard for me to anti-stall right now we encourage him to be aggressive towards us because like that just slows down his farms i don't care if you play mixico dartling like to you man i think you should just play passive bank like nine times up to ten so yeah looks to see looks to be some aggression coming our way here so i guess we're gonna go okay he's gonna balloon boost something as well i mean this will layer really nicely well done but not the end of the world let's we'll get up seeking shuriken now i have lives to burn we're a low life war if you didn't know on this channel so leaking down 100 lives is completely fine here now I'm going to save up money for a round 6 rush, I think. Okay, he got his plantation up. Yeah, these rounds have got stalled out way too much. I shouldn't be letting him get around 5 plantation and still aggro at me. 
But we do have a 60 life buffer in our spike, so that's really nice. Yeah, we'll set him a massive rush here. He might do the same. Or just boost. I'm probably just gonna get a plantation round eight. But we're gonna send him like infinite greens here. A starting farm glue, okay. And he's got glue splatter, so that should handle this. But we're forcing a lot of defense in his end, so that's good. Yeah, this he should be fine with this current defense because Dread is such a long map. And like I said, we're just gonna plan on around eight plantation. He's just farming along, man. I'm hoping these blocks kind of can sneak on through, but probably not. And we'll get our plantation. We have almost 500 eco, not bad, but my defense is lacking, so I'm gonna need quite a bit of defense for round eight. For sure, a mortar. It's gonna be a mortar o'clock here in a second. And it's probably a boost o'clock as well, and I don't mind boosting to a bunch of yellows if we do need to. He's gonna send it. Like, why wouldn't he? It forces so much defense. Yeah, so here comes the big yellow rush, probably. He's gonna balloon boost it as well. It's probably just a tower boost spot. Yeah. Fine. He's still sending? Okay, yeah. Now we're gonna send it back. This is gonna force faster barrel spin. Or another 2 2 glue. Either or is good. Or else he just has to boost. Yeah, he's boosting. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna play heavy eco, and that's what we're doing. Completely fine. If he re-rushes me for some reason, we get Barney stuff and we're okay, and then I can burn spikes if I really need to. I find it highly unlikely that he would rush here, though. We can actually... We can rush him here. I just don't think I have money to actually full send here. We're gonna try. Try to overwhelm Mr. PJB over here. This might be a boost. I'm hoping to milk his second boost right here. He's spiking three times. Brother. Okay, I may have over aggroed though. Okay, this is fine. Round 11 might be spooky. I might have to sell farm here. Hopefully not. This is going to be a uh, flash bomb actually right here. This is the plan. 660 eco is insane, but he is on bank pace. He just banked round 11? Wow. Okay, we got to force him to sell that somehow because that is a really greedy play. I'm also baiting him to send me camel leads. It's $198 for him to send me camel leads. What is he sending? Bro, you have no money to be aggro in here because you got to defend my rush. Literally, if I just full cube pinks, I think you're just struggle lugging here. Am I correct? And I think you're dead. You're busy looking at my screen. Come on, don't die like that, man. Come on, bro. Selling the content. 850 eco, though. He was playing fine. He got a... Ugh. Boy, he got greedy. Boy, he got greedy, man. But yeah, man. For the tournament, you can use farm every game, but the two other two towers have to be different starting um, at this point in the tournament now, so... Exciting. Alright, so now let's see what other two towers we would bring. Or we could just go an eco strat as well. Let's go, um... Let's bring something fun here. Let's bring a tripper strat. Let's aggro with this. I think is what I want to do. We're going to play this extremely aggressive and anti-stally. It's going to be kind of hard to anti-stall with this loadout, but we're going to see what we can do here. Where is the placement for this bad boy as well? Probably like right here. Fine. I'm going to spike the top so we can anti-stall this. The reason we want to anti-stall is because we lose late game to a lot of strategies. We just want, But we have a strategy that can aggro really hard because it's so easy to defend with tack mortar and chipper, honestly, for that matter. So by being extra aggressive, we have that luxury because of how easy it is to defend with our loadout in the early to mid game. So we can get kind of greedy with our rushes in a sense. Usually you hear the term greed in terms of act like farming and farming harder than you normally would for like sacrifice and defense or whatnot. In this case, we are sacrificing defense to rush, basically. So, because we have the Blade Maelstrom in our back pocket. We have the Chipper Stall in our back pocket. We have the Mortar Stall in our back pocket. We have all those things. Also, he started off with a 0-1 Dartling, so he didn't get his farm until around 4, which is just a huge mistake. Even against an Anti-Stall, you want to start off with a farm round 1, just to make sure you get two Bananas round 2. Because if it's Anti-Stall round 1, you're not going to any Bananas anyways. But... You still want to get a place just so you get the bananas for round two instead of starting with a dartling. All right, so we're doing a good job anti-stalling, I think, as well as we can. I mean, I can't really pop it before that part in the map. Do we want to go ahead and save up for a big green rush here? I don't hate that. I'm actually going to stop ecoing for a second just to make sure we can send an even larger 
green rush. I don't think I've never really messed around with this kind of a play, but we're gonna see what happens here. I don't know why I'm trying to layer right now, but we're just gonna go ahead and bloom boost this. Let's see what he does. I'm probably gonna leak to some of these blacks. That's completely fine. Actually, tax shooter goes crazy. We're up against Darling Farm Glue again. I mean, maybe that is meta on this map, to be honest. All right. It probably is on blast, right? Actually, I don't know. Okay. Well, we're forcing defense. We forced it. Does he just have a... Oh, no, he has a 2-2 glue. That's good. His farms aren't very good. Now I think it might be time to get a mortar just so we can pop the balloons even faster. No, we save up for a massive yellow rush. That's definitely what we do. So I can defend any yellow rush on boost, so I'm not worried about that. And if we're both trading boost, that's pretty that's better for me like i need my boost less than he does because my abilities can basically replace boosts like blade maelstrom is just gonna clean up everything right so he goes for faster barrel spin we still can overwhelm this actually so that's what we're gonna try to do we force a dartling he should be fine with that defense just because i ran out of money but we might be able to luck out and get a boost here he's wisely using his spikes nicely done okay so yeah i can't really force defense here so we're just gonna farm on or not farm on. We need our mortar down. And we'll just try to pop things right away. Um, okay. Let's just go for Barney stuff. That'll help kind of accelerate these rounds, hopefully. Maybe go for bigger blast here. I don't hate it. Let's try it. He sends a big rush this next round. We're fine. Let's get up another attack. We're going to rush him here. Let's force some defense. I don't need much money on my side. So we're just going to send him a bunch of yellows behind this with some pinks. It's a pretty big rush, but it should force defense. Yeah, we force pile darts. And a third dartling. Very good. So his farms aren't good. Nor is his eco. We're going to get the signal flare up so that these rounds get flying by. And I think it's okay to go for a second blade shooter. Honestly, not optimally placed. I might relocate that bad boy to like over here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And we're not even gonna upgrade the right side just because I think we are gonna pop the natural balloons fairly quick anyways. Uh, maybe not. But we're just gonna save up for a rush for when he tries to go for a bank. If he goes for a bank, we're gonna try to punish it and force a boost. And then once we force the boost, we're gonna try and force him to sell the bank. So let's see what he does. If he goes for it now, I'm guessing he's gonna go for it this round. Maybe I want to start a little rush right here. Let's try it. I mean, he's got plenty of defense, but... And a few of these... He's going for it. This should be a boost every time, though. You don't have enough defense to defend this. Don't die like everyone else. Okay, he gets the boost off. Nicely done. But the problem is I don't have a ton of money to aggro for a secondary. Like, a secondary rush? This map's just so long where I think he's going to be fine against it. But we still have to try anyways. We At the worst case, I think we force cash out. So let's see what happens. We're just going to infinite Q zebras. He's probably going to go for a glue hose, I'd imagine. Yep, he does. So now we're going to sell and send some camos in there. And that's going to kill him. GG. The camos are sneaking by for sure. Where are the camos at? There they are. Oh, I didn't send enough. I would have sent two more sets. I think he's dead there. Nice defend. We'll give him that. But at the same time, all he has is a bank round 17. That's not good. Just a bank is not good. Also, chipper's in our back pocket. That's We're not going to reveal it until we need to. I should be able to defend off everything with just tack mortar for the most part. I don't think we ever send a Moab here. He might send me one. Go for a tax... Oh, I didn't mean to place it there, but we'll go for a tax spray. If he sends me a Moab, that's stupid. I can just do some micro for a Maelstrom. Now we just go back to ecoing. Our eco's quite healthy, despite all the aggression we've done. And that's the power of greeting with this strat. Now, you don't see me go strats like this very often, but they can be effective. Like, good players are going to find a way to beat it, usually. But you can still put up a good fight and drain them as much as you can. Because, like, I can still send ZMGs, like, around 30 and still have a ton of eco left over, I think. So how are we defending around 20 BFB? Honestly, I'm going to want to get up a super wide funnel, so I'm going to start to get that up. He's going to send thumbs up, 3, 2, 1. No, he doesn't even care. But I think he just got his BIA around 19. That's late. That is a late BIA. Yeah, we're going to send this. And he sends me one. I mean, he just slows down his farms. I don't know why he would. 
He has a leak. Oh, he is going to send one. Okay. That's sweet. Gives us some micro. Or he just faked it. He's not even sending one. Brother, why you fake Bloom Boost at me? Weirdo. I was excited to defend a BF Bizzle. Nah, yeah, we just eco here. Eco, eco, eco. We do have to make sure we can defend, like, a big rush round 22, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, he might die here. He does not have enough faster barrel spins. Also, how many boosts have we forced? We forced at least one. I think we forced two already. I think he only has one boost left. You got a boost, brother. That might not be enough. That's going to come unglued. Uh, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, he clutched. I'm a no, I thought he had it. Come on. Why is everyone so bad? Everyone's so bad today. What are you doing? What are you doing? I want to find some sweats. That was actually... I mean, his farms were bad. Like, he's probably dead around 32 that game, but... Oh, well. Bro, I swear it's only scrubs and dread today. No offense. We'll play one more game. All right, so what haven't we used? We could try a sniper loadout. I haven't done a sniper loadout. Let's go dart sniper. Dart sniper super question mark? I feel like we'll run out of money, but it's it'll be fun to try. Dark Sniper Ace is probably better, but we'll see what we can do. How is this guy? I mean, he's decent. He's a Lee as a team fan. All right. Good luck, Dragi. 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 NG anti stall. I knew it. I can just tell, brother. I can tell. Sometimes when you know, you know, right? All right, so we'll get this guy going. I should probably take off my Christmas skins, but I kind of like it. The reindeer dart goes hard. All right, he's going to set up sentry manipulation too. So all those farms just block sentry spawn, so we can kind of control where they get placed. Very nicely done, sir. Why are you ecoing against an eco player when you have farms? I don't understand this. But you do you. Some people are weird like that. Like you could have just went straight for your farm, but instead you sent me a rush to do nothing. Odd. It's not like you're forcing defense. Like, I have eco. I'm not farming. You know? Maybe that's just me. But we'll be fine here. We just gotta eco as hard as we can until he gets up a balloon trap. And then we don't want to eco at all. Because I don't want to feed him free money into his balloon trap. Alright, we'll put you on strong. I'm gonna go like this. How does last do? What about close and strong? I'm just kind of tinkering around because you shouldn't yeah you don't need two trips to defend also he's not anti-stalling i don't think like i feel like i'm getting good eco well i guess we'll know start around six if i have about 400 eco start around six that means he didn't anti-stall well at all if i have about 380 eco going in around six that means he anti-stalled decently well and it's looking looking like it's looking like we'll have the former here i think we'll have about 400 eco which is really solid here that's what you want to hit as an eco player around six and we're right on the nose for hundo very nice if he aggros at me for some reason i don't know why he would he'll slow my eco down slightly and we'll just have to get double trip dart maybe he is gonna aggro here i'm gonna try you gonna stop sending ah fine i'll get the trip dart man you got me but we'll go back to ecoing here i'm gonna need a spolt next round now he's a sprocket so that's gonna accelerate these rounds unfortunately um i don't think i want my spolt at the top do i i'm gonna go for no because that's gonna anti-stall a little bit plus if we have a sniper i feel like we're gonna want to clean up a little farther back yeah we'll get our spolt like down here which means you placed i don't know why he would send a bunch of yellows but he very well might he's looking like he wants to yeah here comes a layer they actually caught me 133 dollars short or 123 but it doesn't matter it doesn't do anything like I said, we're trying to get eco while we can before he gets up a balloon trap. But at the same time, we can't over eco to, to the point where we die to like an around 11, around 13 rush. So I think this is about where we need to sit. Why do you keep sending yellows, dude? It hasn't done anything. <laughs> All right, I'll get my spolt up. But yeah, we managed to get 630 eco. I'll take that and we'll get a little more here. This might be a little greedy, but Dreadloon's a long map. So I'm hoping we'll be okay here. 
I think those leads are going to get by, see? Yeah, we got one lead through for sure. If he sends a large round 11 rush, all we have to do is go for another spool on last, and we should be fine. But I don't see why he would aggro here. Let's send one more lead here. Because what the lead does is it blocks his sprockets, but now he's got the trap. So we got 644 eco before he got his trap. So that's good. We're not going to send really any more eco here unless we do some layered rushes, of course. But we'll go for this. If he all outs right here, we sell this for 0.50, and I think we're good. He still doesn't realize I have Sniper, I think. LOL. All right, we just go like this. What is that targeting? I mean, we're fine, but like... Nicely done. Um, I guess I could go for a rush, but no, we just prioritize Sniper Farm here. We can sell all these guys for about... Well, let's see. These are like 2k. 3,500 about, so we need about 3,500. So in 2 boost, I might go for it. It's greedy, but I might go for it. Why does he keep selling and rebuying things? Nah, we'll do it in one EcoBoost from now. Alright, sound good, chat? Sound good. So he's gonna bank up, that's fine. I outlake him anything he has, by the way, unless he has NG Farm Super. Which would just be kind of crazy, but no, he has Heli, okay. He's gonna rush me, we just go like this. I don't even have 0.50 help yet. Now we can kind of be a little aggro, though, because I do have the Sniper Farm. So let's force defense here. What is he sending? Oh, that's AI. We just want to force rotors here or boost. Surely they'll sneak through, right? Yeah, it did. Because he just bought Pursuit. Don't die! Oh my gosh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die! He's dead! Oh my god, he defended. Nicely done. <laughs> Brother. Alright, so now we go for this guy on last. We can sell the Spultinator here. He might send a Moab. If he does, we got to get 0.50. It depends how well his layering is, because or how good his layering is. If he layers correctly, he's going to force either a boost or for me to die here in a second. But let's see. Does he send a Moab? I bet he does. Yeah, he is. Okay, so we're going to go for... Ooh, I actually got... Okay, well, this is fine. Okay, we're just going to boost that. I'm dead. Never mind, we're good. What am I doing, bro? I actually got double 0.50. That's not what I wanted. It's fine, though. For a rerush, we can just get up a super. Not that we really should need it. All right, we're going to go. No, I can't even afford Mr. Supply Drop. Brother. Uh, I need to send leads right now, though. Okay, he's going to rerush. Dude. Dude. That defense. Here comes Shock Emote. His farm suck, bro. I'm out. He's dead to leads. What is his screen lag? If he sends a B... Oh, he went for his... No, 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 no. See ya. See ya, you're dead. You're not gonna greed for the BIA like that. See ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. That's not gonna work around here, pal. Also, if he sends a BFB, we don't want to pop it. Because I don't have a fan club prepared. This guy's just dead. You're literally dead. I'm gonna f send you a full queue of zebras too to get by your good old trap. So now you're gonna have to deal with all those zebras sneaking past. So GG. Yep, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Much on the blow. JK, he's fine. He's fine. Easy claps. Easy claps, brother. Nice defense, sir. Uh, he sold his farm though. So now we're gonna get all out on this next round, which means we need to go ahead and get up a max fan club here. So we're gonna go for five. Then we're gonna go for six. Then we're gonna go for seven. Then we're gonna go for eight. Then we go for 9, then we go for 10. Oh, what is this greed, brother? Dude, what are you doing? You're selling that again. You're dead. Alright, now I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like below, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, brother, that a farm can save him.